To say New Haven has a rich history is an understatement. No doubt. The city was founded 138 years before the signing of the Declaration of Independence. That is some history. The city is marking its 375th anniversary this week with a number of events with the public in mind. News 8's Stephanie Simone looked into the city's deep history. Yale University, Worcester Street for a taste of Italy, and Louis' lunch for the first bite into a burger. But roots run deeper in the Elm City. Founded April 24, 1638, New Haven turns 375 today. Wow, I didn't know that. I knew it was old, I didn't know it was that old. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Back in 1638, 500 people arrived here by boat. Yes, here to George and College Streets. It was later filled in to create the railroads. But one thing that hasn't changed about New Haven in nearly 400 years is the New Haven Green. If you really look at the green and you kind of ignore all the skyscrapers and things like that around it, and um, it's really, it hasn't changed that much. It's stayed, you know, green space. It's always been part of the nine square grid. It once held a cemetery and people continue to flock to it. Chang says it's the people who come through each day that keeps the Elm City thriving. Whether they're immigrants or through Yale, um, and also the, all the cultural attractions here in New Haven really keep the city vibrant. Growing up it was wonderful. Um, as a kid everybody knew everyone on their, you know, in your yard. City-like, uh, it's not rural like well, a lot of Connecticut, so I appreciate that. It's got a great nightlife, you know, and when uh, my wife and I can get away from our three kids, <laughs> we take advantage of it and come here. This is what the 350th party looked like. Saturday, they'll have performances here. Whatever they do for the big 400, I'm sure this Elm City staple will be a part of it. On the Green in New Haven, Stephanie Simone, News 8.